Today we've got a fun challenge that will put our Power Query skills to the test. The goal? We need to list all the fruits along with their total amounts and then insert a total row at the bottom after the blank row. Sounds simple, right? Well, not so fast. The data is a bit messy. It's spread across four different columns with fruit names and the amounts all mixed together. So let's take a deep breath and tackle this step by step. We'll break down what we are doing, why it's important and exactly how to do it. Ready? Let's go. Before we can sum anything, we need to clean up this mess. Our goal is to create just two counts, fruit and amount. But right now all the values are scattered. The best approach here is to combine everything into a single list and then split it into separate columns. We will use table to columns function to transform the entire table into a list of lists, where each list represents one column. And then list combine function will enable us to merge all these column lists together. Here is what it looks like in M code. So now all the data is in one big list, but it's still a mix of fruit names and amounts. Let's fix it. If you look at the data carefully, you'll notice a pattern. Fruit names are in odd positions and amounts are in even positions. That's our clue to separate them efficiently. We can use list alternate, which is a neat trick to extract alternating values. This is the code we will use to pick every other item starting with the first, thirds. And this will pick every other item starting with the second, amounts. Now that we've got our two separate lists, we can stitch them back together into a proper table using table from columns. Don't forget about curly braces. Boom! Now we have a structured table with two clean columns. At this point our table looks much better. But there is still one problem. Some of these amounts aren't numbers at all. Let's filter them out. We will use table select rows function along with value is to keep only the valid numbers. Now we are left with only valid fruit amount pairs. Finally, it's time to do what we set out to do. Sum up the total amounts for each fruit. Click group by in Power Query, set fruit as the grouping column, choose sum for the amount column. And just like that, we now have a summary of fruit totals. We also need to add a blank row for readability and a final total row showing the grand total. We can manually create these extra rows using table form records function. For the blank row we will use fruit equals null, amount equals null. And for the total row, third equals total amount, amount equals list sum of our previous step. And we can combine these tables using ampersand symbol or using table combine function. Now we've got the perfect structured table with all the data we need, a clean summary and a well formatted total row at the bottom. Adding a grand total row in Power Query is not something you'll need often. Most reports handle totals at the 
pivot table or excel formula level. But knowing how to do it in Power Query can come in handy when working with automated reports or structured transformations. It's a good trick to have up your sleeve. That's it for today's challenge. See ya!